everyone so I am back with what's going to be a two-part haul um, I'm just going to title this one fall book haul part one I have been more conscious about the books I've been purchasing um, however I do work at a bookstore and I get a lot of books for free which you will see in part two of this haul but I have decided to split this haul up based on things that I have purchased versus, versus things that I've gotten for free um, I also have two galleys that I'm going to put in this video. So these are all going to be the books that I have purchased between October and November and the two galleys I have gotten during that, that time span. Um, the first one I have gotten is Silver Sparrow by T Tahari Jones. Um, this was like one of our discount books. So I got a discount on top of a discount. And um, the reason I picked this up is because I've always wanted to read her books. When I was in grad school, one of my teachers suggested like if I wanted to study like, you know, Afri uh, contemporary African American women writers that she was one he suggested. Um, I didn't go with her at the time. But nonetheless, um, I still wanted to read her work. I have her galley of, of an American marriage. And I think I showed that in a another video. Hopefully, if not, I have that one. Um, but this is about a about two sisters. One sister knows that um, they're related. The other one doesn't. Um, their father is a preacher who basically stepped out, and that is how the they became half sisters. Um, and it doesn't have a doesn't have a blurb on the back. It just has like, you know, people saying how great this book is. But I've heard this one is good as well. I still want to read her other book, Leaving Atlanta. Um, because she's from Atlanta. I think she lives in Arizona currently. But nonetheless, I want to read that. Um, and when I saw this was discounted, I, I had to pick it up. Unfortunately, the, the store I work at is not currently cur carrying any of her books. Um not anything personal it's probably that it, we we clear out books in the store that haven't sold within a year of us putting them in the store so i don't know a lot how long they haven't been selling her books but when this came back in stock i knew i had to get it all right so the next one is a poetry collection and it's called don't call us dead by Denez smith and it is a, a book about black manhood um i believe it also discusses um you know um, black male sexuality and um, HIV AIDS uh, so and he was up for he was one of the short list of finalists for the poetry um, National Book Award this year unfortunately he didn't win but nonetheless those who I've heard read this collection has said it's very good um, you guys know I like reading poetry um, a bit and so far it looks really interesting when Tracy K. Smith and Roxy and Gay say something is good I trust their word all right so moving forward I had to pick up Nowhere is the Place by Bernice L. McFadden so one of the great things about being on booktube is learning about a lot of authors that I never knew existed especially um black women authors and Bernice L. McFadden is one of those women. So if anybody knows or watches Denise D. Cooper's channel, um, who else? Uh, Tiffany at Freeform Lady talks about all the Bernice uh, L. McFadden she's read. Um, I think Dee Dee from Brown Girl Reading actually just read this book. Um, I just finally picked it up. I'll probably get to her next year. One of my goals next year is to read one of her books hopefully i'll read more but i just need to at least read one um so yes i can't wait to read this one i think a mom mother daughter goes on like a road trip and it's talking about like digging into the family past so i heard it was good the the title just is beautiful to me nowhere is a place like i feel that right don't you feel that so yeah I uh, can't wait to read that one so this next one I got um, when it was shortlisted for the National Book Award we had discounted copies in the store so I picked one up and it is American Street by E.B. Zaboy um, this is a 
young adult novel is about a Haitian teenager who comes to America and I think she lives with her cousins for a little bit and you hear about like her her journey um you know when she first comes to like America and stuff and you know the difficulties of like being a black immigrant um and you know and her being Caribbean and stuff like that so I've heard mixed reviews on it um she also did not win the national book award but nonetheless i had been looking at this for a while so when it was discounted i thought hey why not and then when it was up for a national book award i said even better reason to pick it up now um another black woman author to add to the list um the next one is the power by naomi alderman um, this is a story about women across the globe end up getting the power to, I think, electric, have electricity come from their hands. And we hear from five different accounts across the globe of what different women across the globe did with this power. Um, I also think this is probably an interesting book to read right now um, while we're in the moment where so many women are coming forward with um, their stories of of sexual assault and her harassment and rape um i was on the fence about this book because rincey reads did not rincey at rincey reads did not give this a good review and i usually i trust her reviews um i know some people at my job who read it and liked it and there's some other people on youtube who liked it um part of me is like it was hardcover and I just this was another impulse I just felt like I had to buy it um especially when the New York Times gave it a good review so I still have it um I don't know what I'm gonna get to it though like I want to read it but it's not high on my priority list and part of me is like maybe I should take it back to the store but nonetheless I have it right now so if this book sounds interesting to you, you now know it exists. All right. And so another book I got. Um, so if any of you are familiar with the literary, literaryhub.com, they have a podcast called A Phone Call from Paul, which is Paul is this guy. I think he's a writer. I'm not sure who he is. He probably is a famous writer. I don't know who he is, though. Um, he had he calls different authors each week. I think they're on a break, though. And Tracy K. Smith was one of the authors he called, and she was like an older episode, and I listened to it. And I then saw that we had Ordinary Light like Her memoir um, discounted in our store. And so I picked it up. It couldn't hurt. I really enjoyed her poetry collection, Life on Mars. It is so good. Um, she talks a lot about her parents. I think this this reflects on like her mother was like um, uber religious, while her her father was a scientist. And I think Life on Mars discussed that a lot as well. Um, I can't remember any exact poems sticking out to me, but when I read it in grad school, it was just it was really just beautiful. I don't. I don't know. I'm just a sucker for like beautiful writing and beautiful stories and beautiful poetry. So I want to learn more about her. And since, I mean, it's a nice hardcover, I get in the mood for uh, memoirs every now and then. So she just seems like an interesting woman. So yeah, I picked it up and I will be eventually reading this. So the last two books I have are the galleys that I have either have received at work. So this first one, first galley is apparently a re-release. Um, this is a new edition of the book with an in introduction by Tayari Te Jones. Tayari Jones. I'm not sure how to pronounce her name. I think it's Tayari. Tayari Jones. Um, it is The Darkest Child by Dolores Phillips. And this talks about a black girl during um, the 1950s um, and how she's treated based on um, having dark skin by her own family. Um, like it talks about like how she's the most she's the smartest and has the most promising future, except she's the darkest one and, pe and she's considered the ugliest and people treat her 
unfairly because of that. So this is also by Dolores Phillips, if I didn't already say that. Um, so yeah, since it's a re-release, there's probably not much wrong with this galley as far as typos and stuff. Um, they probably just put it, you know, they're putting it back out because Tahari Jones uh, did the uh, intro. So yeah, I'm, I want to read this. I don't know when I'm going to read it. Um, if it's really something I feel like it's important um, and I might return back to it, this seems like something I'll need to like buy a real copy of and add to my uh, bookshelf um, just because it has, um, it seems like it has like a lot of literary value. So yeah, uh, that is that galley and the last galley. It was a shock to me. One of my coworkers pulled this aside to me and it was on my desk when I got to work. It is Zadie Smith's new collection of essays. It's called Feel Free. Um, I actually don't know exactly what this collection is full of. It it seems like she talks about different things. Like she talks about um, Brexit and London. She talks about audience and she talks about art. Um, talks to, she talks about a couple of books. She even talks about uh, Northwest her or NW, her book. She talks about some other things that she just wants to talk about. Um, I don't know if, I was wondering if her essay from Harper's Bazaar when she was talking about um, the Emmett Till painting and what um, what it means to like, who owns black pain. I don't think that's in here, but um, yeah, I just, <sighs> Zadie Smith, like, I really like her I really do and I think she's a great writer however there's something I always feel like there's something I have to pick at about the the very few essays I've read of hers like I don't know what do you guys think what do you guys think about Zadie Smith's essays um the one about black pain though she when she uh, said that her kids would be like considered she was talking about their biraciality um uh they'd be considered octave rooms and that just that just messed with me i didn't like that um but yeah that is beside the point let's wrap this part one up let me know um what you think about the books that i have gotten in some of the galleys if you're interested in reading them or you know if you're interested in like you know picking them up or whatever if there's something that i need to get to sooner than later or if there's something that you absolutely didn't like i like hearing that too as well and why so i will talk to you guys very soon bye